So good morning sir, I am Kyla O. Esparagoza and today I will now perform the return demonstration in Oxygen Administration by Nasal Cannula. So the purpose of this procedure is for us to deliver a supplemental oxygen and increase airflow to the patient that are in need of respiratory help. So the first thing to do is to determine the need for oxygen therapy and verify the order for the therapy. So the rationale for this is to ensure that the 10 rights of medication administration is strictly observed. So the doctor's order is 2 liters per minute of oxygen via nasal cannula at 1 p.m. ordered by doctor. The next step is to perform a respiratory assessment. So it is to develop a baseline data if not already available and then it is also a guide for evaluation of care. So ma'am, uh, mag-check lang ko sa inyo ano ma'am ha, ginhawa ma'am ha. So ma'am, ginhawa lang talalo ma'am. So ma'am, ayos na ta. Prepare the client and support people. Assist the client to a semi flawless position if possible. It is um, because this position um, permits easier chest expansions and hence uh, for easier breathing. So ma'am, um, assist the lang ka ma'am ha. And the next is explains the oxygen is not dangerous when safety precautions are observed and then inform the client and support system that about, about the safety precautions connected with the oxygen use. So this is to alleviate um, the patient's anxiety and also to educate them and the significant others for the do's and don'ts of the oxygen therapy. So ma'am, um, di lang ta mag-smoke ma'am ha sa oxygen uh, na doon sa ox oxygen tank kay um, ang oxygen tank is flammable. So prior to performing the procedure, introduce yourself and verify the client's identity using agency protocol. Explains the procedure to the client and how he or she can participate and why is it necessary. And then discuss how the effects of the oxygen therapy will be used in planning further care in treatment in the treatment. So. Um, the rationale for this is for have to have the patient um, comfortable and to alleviate his or her anxiety. So, ma'am, good morning. Ako the si Kayla and I am your student nurse from Davao Doctors College. So, ma'am, pwede ko mag-ask sa mong name, ma'am? So, ma'am, pwede ko mag-check sa mong wristband, ma'am? Okay, ma'am. So, ma'am, mag-administer ko sa mga o... Um, Oxygen by nasal cannula. So ma'am, uh, inhatag na mo siya sa imo ha para makaginhawa ka tarong ma'am. So ma'am, ingnara ko ma'am if naka ma-feel na irritation or something sa gabal sa inyong ilong. Next ha? is perform hand hygiene and observe for other appropriate infection prevention procedure. It is for us to deter the spread of microorganisms or to prevent the spread of microorganisms.
Next is providing for clients' privacy appropriately. So providing for clients' privacy involves protecting the client's integrity. It's by closing the doors or the curtains. Attaches the flow meter to the wall out of our tank and then the flow meter should be in the off position. Uh, so this ensures the safety and functionality of the equipment. Next is if needed, um, fills the humidifier and then attach the humidifier bottle to the base of the flow meter. And then next is attaches the prescribed oxygen, oxygen tubing and delivery device to the humidifier. Next is to turn on the oxygen as prescribed and ensure um, its proper functioning. So check that the oxygen is flowing freely from the tubing. So turn on. And then check if it is flowing freely. So it is flowing freely. So, and then followed by Setting the oxygen at the flow rate is ordered. So we are now to put the cannula on the patient's face. So mom, put on the ha. And then, if the cannula will not stay in place, they get at the sides of the face. So since um, fit man ang cannula, so there is no need to put anything. And then pass the tubing and band over the ears and the cheekbones as needed. Because um, it will prevent the skin from other ulcerations under the tubing while oxygen therapy is ongoing. We're now to assess on the client's vital signs. So we need to check the level of his or her anxiety, um, color, and the ease of respirations and provide support while the client adjusts to the devices. So the, the rationale for this is to ensure that the therapy is well um, tolerated by the patient with um, no signs of hypoxemia or hypoxia. And then we must assess the client in 15 to 30 minutes depending on the client's condition and then followed by assessing the client regularly for any signs of confusion um, tachypnea, restlessness, tachycardia, and hypoxia or cyanosis and then review we must also review for the oxygen saturation or arterial blood gas results if available
So the client's vital signs are uh, her oxygen saturation is 98%, while her um, respiratory rate is um, 17 um, seconds per minute, and the pulse rate is 79 beats per minute. Next is we are now to assess the client's snares for encrustations and irritations and then followed by um, applying a water-soluble lubricant as required to soothe um, the mucous membranes. So the rationale for this is to ensure the comfort of the patient all throughout the oxygen therapy. So mama, apply lang And then assess the top of the client's ears for any signs of irritations from the cannula or the tubing. And then if present, padding with a gauze pad may help to relieve the discomfort. So since we put any padding, so mom na feel pag any um, discomfort mom or irritations sa imong ilong or sa imong ears the bit mom. So that's very good sign. So next thing to do is. Um, check the litter flow and the level of humidifier in 30 minutes and whenever, whenever providing care to the client. So, um, you must check the humidifier and then make sure that the safety precautions are still being followed. So, the rationale for this is to ensure the safety of the patient and the significant others. So, ma'am, um, so far, wala man na, na yung nag-smoke, ma'am, no? Sa mga kaoban niyo, ma'am. Next is to perform hand hygiene and do aftercare. So it is to deter the spread of infection and microorganisms present. Last would be document the findings and the client record using your forms or checklist. And um, the rationale for this is um, it is part of the 10 rights of medication administration. So the assessment is done. Thank you, ma'am, for your participation. Thank you.